Please welcome to the stage your hosts for their Mr. and Miss Coppin State University, Desiree Jones and Jahi Chapman. Good evening, and welcome to the coordination of the 22nd and the 91st Miss Coppin State University and the Royal Court. I am Jahi Chapman, the 21st Mr. Coppin State University. And during my reign last year, I placed in the top 10 of the Mr. HBCU competition, served as a resident assistant, and I'm also a member of ROTC. I'm currently a senior and I will be graduating in 2023 and I'm excited to be here with you all tonight. And I am Desiree Jones, a 2022 Coppin State alumna. While at Coppin, I had the honor of serving as the 90th Miss Coppin State University, a senior student ambassador, a SASA mentor, Miss SAPB, SAPB secretary, and the chair. I was also a resident assistant and member of the honors program. At the end of my reign, I was the only woman student awarded the Daily Record Maryland's Top 100 Women's Scholarship. And together we had a great time during our reign. Well, tonight we come together again to serve as your master and mistress of ceremony. Jahi, it is such an honor to be here and witness another crowning ceremony for the Coppin State University royalty. It feels like yesterday that we were students here enjoying college life, being king and queen, and living on top of the world. Well, wait, it was just yesterday for you. <laughs> it's right now for me, you forget. I was a junior during my reign, and so I have the joy of being here every day and witnessing the greatness of all royalty. It's wild that our Mr. and Miss Junior are now following in our footsteps as Mr. and Miss Coppin. I know, right? I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so proud of them. And even more excited to be here in person and witnessing their crowning. Before we get too mushy, let's dive a little deeper into the program. We thank you for joining us to celebrate this long-standing Coppin State University tradition. But before we get too far along in the program, we do want to acknowledge a few things. First, thank our, we would like to thank our university president, Dr. Anthony Jenkins, for his leadership in the great Coppin State. So let's give it up for Dr. Anthony, Dr. Jenkins. We also would like to acknowledge all faculty, staff, and administrators who have chosen to share this evening with us. Joining us tonight, we also have some visiting royalty. We'd like to acknowledge them as well. Please stand and allow us to recognize your delegation. Thank you for joining us tonight. We hope that you enjoy the program. And at this time, we ask that all past Coppin State University royalty join us in the backstage lobby. While this is a beautiful night and exciting occasion, we did want to acknowledge the state of our world. A lot has changed in the last year and a half and we hope that you are all continuing to be safe. With that being said, I am so grateful to be here with you all for this celebration. The tradition of royalty was established in 1930 when the students of then Fannie Jackson Coppin Normal School desired a female student to represent the student population to be faced of Coppin and remain steadfast to the mission and standards of the university. Over the years, the selection process evolved into a pageant and voting process. In 2000, the first Mr. Coppin role was formally created as a true position for the male students to compete for. A formal Coppin State Royal Court was created in 2005. Since then, the crowning ceremony better known as coronation, 
has remained one of the cornerstones traditions of the student activities culture. In fact, this year, as we celebrate 122 years of copping, we are excited to see what the evening will hold. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited to see the court. Are y'all? Clap it up if you're excited to see the court. <laughs> Coronation the last few years has gotten better and better each year, and I cannot wait to see what tonight brings. Ooh. The term Sankofa means to go back and get it. It means that as you strive toward your future, you must acknowledge your past. We begin the program with acknowledging those that have come before us, and since that, and since that includes us, we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Katrina Griffin, Miss Coppin State University, 2005. You can give a better round of applause for that. Jumping a little closer, We'd like to welcome back your master and mistress of ceremony for their first walk as alumni. Not only is this their first walk, well, for Desiree as an alum, but this is also their final walk as reigning Mr. and Ms. Coppin State University. My platform when I decided to become Miss Coppin State University was Legacy Carries Leaders of Today. And the beautiful legacy that has come before us is so powerful and so beautiful because it helped us to get to this point that we are in right now. With poise, grace, and gratitude, I yearn to serve with a humble heart. As the 90th Miss Coppin State University, I vow to my prestigious university, the student body, my court and myself to give this role all that I have. To be a part of this legacy can be defined as bold. Boldness that is confident, daring, and resilient. I took a leap of faith to do something four years ago I would have never seen coming. But one thing about the God that I serve is that he always has a plan. He made me bold. This university made me bold. My court made me bold to take the necessary steps to be led in the right direction. Throughout my experience, I had the opportunity to meet with many students to enlighten them on the importance of HBCUs, but most importantly, my HBCU. They were inspired to see that someone who looked like them made a way to do courageous things. Everywhere I went, I always made sure that this role wasn't about me. I made sure that everyone knew that I was arriving as a product of Coppin State University, and I still do today. That is because this opportunity is more than a crown and a sash. This opportunity is about being a change maker and a humble representative of CSU. 
Someone once said, your crown is waiting for you whenever you find the courage to wear it. It might be cliche to say that everyone in here is a king or a queen, but the power in these words is embracing the courage it takes to embody it. In closing, it has been a pleasure to have served my school, your school, our school. Thank you everyone that took a chance on me to fulfill this position. And remember, along with everything else, we are Coppin Proud. Thank you. Our crowns have been bought and already paid for. All you have to do is wear it. James Baldwin. I said that quote because that's, it stuck with me my entire reign. Each and every person in this room is a king and queen. And I've seen that. And my, my reason in running for Mr. Coppin was because I took pride in where I came, where I come from. And I wanted to show everybody why. Why Coppin? Why y'all a coppin? It, it, I bleed, ooh, I bleed bold gold and navy blue. I mean, yeah, ooh, excuse me, excuse me. But I say to say that because being Mr. Coppin, it, it was, it, it was like speechless, honestly, and it still is. And just to see my, my friend, my, one of my best friends in college, now becoming the new Mr. Coppin, the 22nd Mr. Coppin. It is just, it's, it's just love, because it takes a lot to step up. And you know, over the years, I just seen more and more people step up to the plate and become leaders. Mm -hmm. And that was my thing of being Mr. Coppin. That was our thing as being Mr. and Miss Coppin, was to create new leaders, to take love and show pride for your school. Absolutely. And I just want you all to have a day. Just enjoy the, the new Mr. and Miss Coppin. Whew. But we want to thank you to all of our past royalty members. As we have recognized our past royalty, I think it's only fair to briefly reminisce in our most memorable moments as king and queen. Again, as we have recognized our past royalty, I think it's only fair to briefly reminisce about our most memorable moments as king and queen. My most memorable moment was probably Mr. HBCU, Mr. HBCU. Um, and not only because it was like Mr. HBCU and I placed top 10, we bonded good friendships that we st of people we still talk to today. Um, and it granted opportunity. It also granted opportunity to copy. Like, it kind of hurt my feelings sometimes when I talked about copying. Like, where's copying? But I bet mm. you know they know now. Mm. Absolutely. What would you say was yours? For me, I would say the most memorable moment was definitely going to different elementary schools and middle schools and high schools and getting to really connect with those students. And I say that because I'm from New Jersey, y'all. I don't know if y'all know that about me, but I'm from New Jersey. And one thing about New Jersey is we don't have HBCUs. The closest HBCU that we have is Delaware State University. And so for me, like being able to go back home and pour into those students and explain to them like, this could be y'all, you know what I'm saying? Not just being a king or a queen, but going into an HBCU and getting that experience. Because I'm gonna tell y'all like this experience is like no other. And that's what I really wanted to instill in them. 
um, and just the courage to be able to try new things, no matter if you're in college or you're thinking about going to college or right in the present moment and really making sure that they knew that they can do it as long as they put their mind to it. As much as we could go back and forth about memories of our reign, we know you don't want to hear all of our stories all night. Maybe it's time we introduce our campus royalty. Y'all ready here for the royalty? Yeah. I, don't, I, I, I don't feel the energy. Are y'all ready to see the campus pump royalty? It up, pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Ladies and gentlemen, the kings and queens of our student organizations. Representing the African Students Association, Gedeon Seto and Anna Deramola. Representing Kai Ada Phi Nursing Sorority, Richard Fajimolu and Datsela Key. Representing the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, we have Vincent Pitogo and Faith Rogers. <laughs> Serving as king and queen of the National Panhellenic Council, Welcome Luis Perez and Demia Goddard. Representing prestige of CSU step team, Jalen Camp and Donetta Corbin. Serving as king and queen of Queen and You, Garen Mercer and Deja Shaw. Representing strong men overcoming obstacles through hard work, Rashard Whitaker and Trashia Biles. Let's give it up again for our student organization, Kings and Queens. Woo. They looked amazing. Wouldn't you agree? 
Wouldn't y'all agree? Come on. <laughs> they sure did. I got even more excited to see the court after that. And with that being said, I think it's time we introduce the 2022-2023 Royal Court. We will begin with Mr. Freshman. Serving as Mr. Freshman, Caleb Bird is a native of Prince George's County, Maryland, studying computer science. He is a member of Smooth, Strong Men, Overcoming Obstacles Through Hard Work. SAPB, CEOs, and the Coppin State University football team. Caleb enjoys listening to music, being active, and mentoring Coppin Academy students. He aspires to be a network engineer, and his favorite phrase is, death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what may die while you're still alive. Tupac Shakur. Serving as Miss Freshman, Angel Love. Angel Love is from Baltimore, Maryland, and is studying accounting. She is a member of the Honors Program and enjoys reading and swimming. Angel has a myriad of community service projects under her belt, including assisting people with physical disabilities at the Volunteers of American Chesapeake and reading to students at a summer camp. After college, she plans to become a public certified accountant and establishing her own accounting firm. Sean Berry serve as Mr. Sophomore and is a and is a native of Baltimore, Maryland. He is studying early childhood education. Sean is the treasurer of Smooth and a corner for Coppin State University football team. His favorite hobby is watching shows on Netflix. He's also a volunteer at Perkins Square Baptist Church. Following graduation, Sean plans to get a secondary education cert certification and has established his own clothing design business. Starting start time to shine a pearl. His favorite phrase is, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Moraine Williamson. Serving as Miss Sophomore, Jayla McCall. <laughs> Jayla McCall serves as Miss Sophomore and is a native of Baltimore, Maryland, studying early childhood education. <laughs> she is a resident assistant in Daly Hall and president of Queen and You. Okay, okay. Jayla enjoys painting and drawing, and she spends her time mentoring with Queen and You and volunteering at the House of Ruth. After college, Jayla plans to become an elementary school teacher, and a little known fact about her is that she sings really well. Jayla's, Jayla's favorite phrase is, she opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. Proverbs 31, 26. Returning to the court this year as Mr. Junior, Jawad Williams. <laughs> Jawad Williams is from Newark, New Jersey, studying re re studying re rehabilitation services and criminal justice. Last year, he served as Mr. Sophomore. Jawad's campus involvement includes the Coppin Room, SAPB, and Cabinet of Campus Ambassadors. He enjoys shopping, collecting vinyls, and trying new things with his style. He has spent time volunteering at various inner city, Baltimore area high schools and offering advice on the next steps after high school. 
Post-graduation, Jawad plans to obtain a master's degree in forensic psychology and work with troubled youth in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Jawad's favorite phrase is, I always feel like it's two key ingredients when, com when it comes to following your dreams. Making something happen that the average person deems difficult. If you truly believe it, that's step one. Step two is, you know, the hard work that goes along with it by J. Cole, his favorite artist. Also, returning to the court this year is Miss Junior, Kayla Griffin Randall. <laughs> Kayla served as Miss Sophomore last year. Kayla is a native of Baltimore, Maryland, and is studying nursing and psychology. She is the vice president of Queen and You and a residential assistant. Kayla enjoys painting and crocheting. Through Queen and You, she has spent time mentoring young girls. Her post-graduation plans are to become a labor and delivery nurse. She is a third-generation cop and state legacy, and her favorite friend. And her favorite phrase is Romans 12:12. 12, 12. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, and be constant in prayer. And serving as your Miss Senior, Miracle Jordan. Miracle Jordan is a native of Baltimore, Maryland, is an, is, and is a biology student. She is the public health chair of the NAACP and social media liaison of Queen and You. Her hobbies include makeup, long walks, and quality time with loved ones. Miracle's community service includes blood bank drives, Dana's daughter's nonprofit, Coppin Campus Food Bank, and toiletry drives. Upon graduation, she intends to go to medical school to become a dermatologist and establish her own medical practice as she wants to make sure people of color are getting the proper medical attention and care. Mir Miracle's favorite phrase is, I am a feminist. And what that means to me is much is much the same as the meaning of the fa fact that I am black. It means that I must undertake to love myself and to respect myself as though my very life depends upon self-love and self-respect. June Jordan. Mm. Holding the position of Mr. or Miss Cotton State or a class king and queen position isn't easy. Many, many people believe that it's a position of smiling, waving, and dressing up. However, it is much more. Students holding the positions of Mr. or Ms. Coppin and the Royal Court must encourage school spirit and leadership through campus programming, participating in community service, and outreach programs. Work alongside the Student Government Association in representing the student body speak at institutional and community engagements, and most importantly, uphold the mission and the standard of excellence of the university while maintaining a high academic achievements. Founded in 1900, this year we celebrate 122 years of excellence. Can we clap it up for that? <laughs> 122 years of educating and preparing students for the walks of life. 122 years of transforming lives. I am here to see what year 122 holds for the entire royal court. Well now, I'm definitely anxious to see. Bring them out, bring them out. <laughs> Without further ado, please allow us to introduce our 2022-2023 Mr. and Mr. Copper State University. First, join me in celebrating the 22nd 
Mr. Coppin State University. Traquan Hayes. <laughs> Traquan Hayes is a native. Traquan Hayes is a native of Kalamazoo, Michigan, and is studying elementary education. Last year, he served as Mr. Junior. Traquan is a member of Smooth, strong men overcoming obstacles through hard work. He enjoys sleeping, listening, listening to music. and stand physically fit. Following graduation, Traquan intends to return to Michigan and begin his teaching career. His favorite phrase is, his favorite phrase is, they laugh at me because I'm different. I laugh at them because they're all the same. Joker. A little known fact about him, he's actually pretty shy. Okay, so we see you, Mr. Coppin, looking all dapper and stuff. You Don't know? cut me now. You know, Don't look cut at, me 20 seconds. You know, you got to brush out the shoulders a little <laughs> bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and while we cherish our kings, what is a king without a queen by his side? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, the 91st Miss Coppin State University Kayleen Perez. I can't hear y'all. Y'all not loud enough. <laughs> Having previously served as Miss Sophomore and Miss Junior, Kayleen resides in Mount Airy, Maryland, but is very proud of and in tune with her Guatemalan roots. She is studying nursing and military science. She is the editor of the Coppin Carrier, Student Ambassador, Chi Eta Phi Sorority Incorporated, Cadet at Morgan State Bears Battalion, Honors College, Alpha Lambda Delta Sorority Society, sports reporter for the Baltimore Sun, desk assistant, and former cheerleader. With all of that, Kayleen has been involved in and given back to her campus as it is fitting that she represents Coppin as an HBCU queen. Her favorite hobbies include journaling, running, modeling with MMG models, Post-graduation, she hopes to pass her NCLEX and will be a basic officer leader in the course of Texas for six months, and then she will receive her first active duty station. She will then pursue her mental health psych nursing program with military and become a psychiatric nurse practitioner. Huh? Alongside my, her love for writing, she plans to write a medical journal on mental health in the military. A little known fact about Kayleen is that she is surprised about her, is that people are surprised about her petite frame and quiet demeanor. She is United States Army Sergeant. Give it up, give it up. <laughs> Kayleen's favorite phrase is, let your light shine, Matthew 5, 16. Y'all could do better than that. Ladies and gentlemen, your Mr. and Miss Coppin State University 2022 to 2023, Traquan Hayes and Kayleen Perez. Don't they look amazing, y'all? 
Don't they look amazing, y'all? Give it up for them one more time. One more time. Y'all looking good over there. <sighs> Jahi now. This is my favorite part of coronation. Seeing the royal cook looking all dressed and stuff. Y'all look so nice. Oof. They look good, y'all, right? Brush it clean, clean. They do truly look amazing. And I'm honored to have them both in the lineage of cop and royalty. Trey Kwan, Kayleen, and the entire royal court. You truly all look amazing tonight, honestly. I almost want to sing or dance, because y'all really look good. Y'all really look good. Actually, no. But we do have a very special person here tonight for such a performance. Having served on the royal court last year as Mr. Freshman, he is no stranger to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Prophet. Check, 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 check. I said that bull gold, that navy blue. I'm rocking with my CSU. A captain. A captain. I said that bull gold, that navy blue. I'm rocking with my CSU. A captain. A captain. Hey, Trey, you ready to have some fun? Kayleen, you look beautiful, queen. Royal court, congratulations. Missy Sam, you can hit it. Can you turn me up? Can you turn me up? Well, we gonna do it like this. I need y'all saying this with me. We say, we gonna clap first. 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 We going. We gon' clap first, we gon' clap first, we gon' clap first, we gon' clap first, we gon' I got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, look, they be like profit boy, give it to them. Lately they been asking for the rap, but what's my passion? My passion is when I'm rapping for them. And lately, Missy Sign, I'm sorry, can you please cut it? I'm sorry, can you please cut it? I'm sorry, can you please cut it? We cannot bring them in like this. So you asked me to do this, we gon' do it right. Royal Court, can y'all join me and put your hands together? We gonna do this again. One more time, one more time. I say we gonna clap first. We gonna clap first. We gonna clap first. We gonna, we gonna clap first. We gonna clap first. We getting there. Come on, come on. We gonna clap first. 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 I got you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They be like one shot. Guess it's time to show what I got. Everybody keep on asking, can he rap on the spot? I mean, I remember days he wouldn't let me in. Now everybody keep on calling and they asking for my references. My cadence is getting harder and harder, and these fathers getting mad because I turn their daughters. See, I make them catch a vibe like I plug in the charger when they tell me to myself. I'm the hottest in the city, I don't know how to act I had to tie a rope around and put the word on my back In fact, won't do a show unless they sign them checks Sitting fire like a dragon, well I aim for the neck See, the pretty girls they only want because I'm older now The older girls they only want because it's over now And everybody see I'm spitting like I'm over now Young prophet, let me show you how we, we gon' clap first We gon' clap first, we gon' clap first We gon' clap first Put your hands together, come on, we gon' clap first, we gon' what? We gon' what, uh? I said clap first, we gon' clap first, we gon' clap first, we gon' clap first. I got one more, I got one more, hold on, hold on, hold on. I say, they be like profit boy, give it to them. Lately they been asking for the rap, but what's my passion? My passion is what I'm rapping for. And lately, it feels like everybody's watching me. This the way I gotta be, I'm the one they tryna be. Never been a sucker, you suckers can't tell me nothing. If I say I'm finna make it, best believe I ain't. Well, I guess I stand out, feeling like the man now. I don't trust the soul, cause everybody got their hands out. Even family, they ain't believing me. Now I'm on my ground, it's like everybody's seeing me. Talking about my life. Well, my life was it's a tragedy, it's sad to see All these brothers dying, somebody mama crying Everybody's denying I'm the greatest in the city That's a fact, I don't really think I know how to act And it's a message to these rappers that I'm shooting up next When they start to hear my name, they better give respect Or we gon' clap first, we gon' clap first 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 We gon' clap first, and come on Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Thank you once again. AJ, congratulations. Kaylin, congratulations. 
On the count of three, one more time. Can I get an eight cap in? One, two, three. That's my time. I appreciate y'all. Give it up again for profit. Thank you, Prophet, for that wonderful tribute. You did a really great job, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I was Mr. Cotton, one of the things that made me feel special was receiving my sash and my crown. I come to coordination before and seen other people, but nothing compared to the moment when it happened to me. I know exactly what you mean. I feel like I did so much on Coffin's campus and was involved just in just about everything, but nothing compared to the moment it became official and we got our crowns and sash. You think if we snuck backstage and changed it to our white and came back out, you think we could do it all again? It's giving no. <laughs> we had our time and it was great. Plus, as much as Mrs. Han loves us, you know she not going for that. You're right, you're right. We had, we had our turn. Now it's time for the 22nd and the 91st to have theirs. Before we crown our Mr. and Ms. Coppin, we like to have a special presentation for the Royal Court, class kings and queens. Please stand. Doesn't the class look amazing? Each and every one of them, don't they look amazing? Give it up for the Royal Court. You guys may be seated. At this time, we will witness the crowning of Mr. and Ms. Coppin State University 2022-2023. Please come down, King and Queen.
as assistant dean of campus life. Oh wait, new title? That's right. Focus, please, like, please. Okay, let's start over. As assistant dean of campus life, Ms. Usan Mujahid has served as the royal court advisor. And it makes sense because she is no stranger to campus royalty, as she is a former Miss Sophomore in Miss Lincoln University of 2021-2022. Please welcome Ms. Mujahid to give the oath. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Is it, is it? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, I'd like to make a quick apology. Um, as they did say, you heard that I am a former Miss Lincoln and I just celebrated my homecoming, so I apologize for the beginning. Blue and gold runs deep. I mean, every, every blue and gold runs deep. So I just want to clear that up. So just as I clear that up, at this time, could I have the rest of the court to please stand? Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Okay. I state your name and title. I, we can't hear y'all. I state your name and title. As a member of the Royal Court of Coppin State University. Understand my role and responsibility. I promise to uphold the guidelines and expectations set before me. I understand that leadership is a commitment and not a position. We'll, we'll run that one back. I understand that leadership is a commitment and not a position. I promise to represent myself, Coppin students, and the Coppin community to the best of my ability. As a leader, I understand that I am an example to my fellow students. As such, As such, I am proud to serve. I am proud to serve on the 2022-23 Coppin State University, State University. Royal, Court. Royal Court. You may be seated. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Man, they've been sash, taking their oath, and gotten crowned. I think it might be time to hear from the man and the woman of the hour. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Please welcome the 22nd and 91st Mr. and Miss Coppin to the podium to deliver their speeches. First and foremost, I want to thank the man above for getting me in this position today. I couldn't be here if it wasn't for him. A lot of people don't know me or know my story. Sometimes I really question myself if I'm supposed to be here. I was a former felon student, graduated from alternative school, raised by an amazing single mother. 
That lady right there, y'all see her right there? Okay, stop playing, don't play with her. I can thank so many people here at Coppin State University. First and foremost, gave it to God. Gave it to the real queen right there, my queen right there, my forever queen right there. But I want to thank, first and foremost, my court. I love y'all so much. This has been a journey. We've already had our things going on, but you guys keep me going. My kings, hey, hey, y'all keep me going now. My queens, man, y'all look good, don't y'all? Uh, I want to first and so also thank Ms. Chantel Broxton, Ms. Angie Cooper. I want to thank the Residence Life for grooming me and helping me grow as an individual. Oh, I can't forget Ms. Ogaro, Ms. Trinity Driggs over there. I can't forget none of you. Thank you so much for helping me get to this point in my life. You've helped me grow so much. I want to thank all my mentors out here for really letting me accomplish this big accolade. And let me get to my amazing 91st Miss Coppin State University. You have helped me grow so much from being just friends as sophomores to Mr. and Miss Junior. We have grown a great friendship, a great relationship, and you've helped me grow so much. And I can never thank you enough. You are like forever one of my best friends. And I'm glad that I have this reign with you. And last but not least, let me thank the GOAT, Missy Sand, my amazing advisor. She makes everything happen for us. She makes us look good, smell good. Y'all see how she did this right. But more of the story is, I'm forever thankful. I'm forever grateful for this opportunity. And thank you, Coppin State University, for accepting me to be your 22nd Mr. Coppin State University. everyone. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you all for joining us on this special day. I cannot believe the coronation is finally here. It feels like just yesterday I was walking around campus at their orientation seeing James and Mia <laughs> here giving me their welcome and I just couldn't feel so loved as I set foot on this campus. Now that I look, I can't believe that I'm finally here. If I was able to talk to my younger self, I don't think she would believe it. The amazing opportunities that Coppin has allowed me to have throughout these past four years. Being the first Latina to hold this honor. <laughs> um, has come with several tribulations, hateful messages, and so many more. Um, but the reason I ran to be the 91st Miss Coppin State University was because of my heart and my purpose to serve others. And I feel like I'm accomplishing that mission that I instilled in my heart from God. <laughs> and I didn't turn my application until maybe an hour before um, it was due. I was feeling doubt in my heart, but I just turned it in and I knew this is where God wanted me to be. Okay. I have an incredible experience thus far, and I'm always enjoying being with my core and just being myself and having them just welcome me with open arms. And alongside everything that comes my way, I receive, I always think and reflect on how the university has supported me in so many ways, and everything just feels so much better. I would like to thank many people that are here joining me, but firstly, God. He only knows what I go through, and he continues to shine in my path. To my mom, my dad, and my sister, right there. <laughs> Your unconditional love means the world to me, and I would like to thank you guys for everything that you do for me. To my dear Mrs. San, Y'all don't know how much I love Mrs. Sand. She has supported me in so many ways, gone to my fashion shows, even was one of my coaches when I competed at Miss Maryland USA. 
and she just does everything to support me in any kind of way, not just for me, but the, for the whole entire core and the student body, and I'll forever be blessed to have her in my life. To the great Bear Battalion of Morgan State University, the Captain Nelson, Mr. Austin, Master Sergeant Klein, and Colonel Morgan, thank you for supporting me in my military career and teaching me how to be an amazing officer one day. Thank you. To Mr. Austin, thank you for always supporting me and just lending a hand whenever you can. It just feels like yesterday I was talking to you at orientation. You told me that I was going to help you lead the way, and hopefully we're doing that, and thank you so much. <laughs> and to the person who coached me for weeks before I left to Atlanta, James, thank you so much for just pouring your time and investing in me, and I couldn't have a ama more amazing experience if it wasn't for you, so thank you for all your time. To my lovely soarers and freighters of Kaya to Phi sorority. <laughs> to my dean and my ADP, I love you all so much. <laughs> you guys mean so much to me and to my special, special ex, my line sisters and my line brother. <laughs> I love you all so much and only you guys know the special bond that we share in our hearts. You all teach me the real meaning of sisterhood and of my brother, of course, I love you guys so much. Thank you for always being at every event and everything for me. Kaiku? I'm trying to tell you, shaking. To my friends and family in the crowd, thank you all for joining me today. I see so many of you guys, I want you guys to wave. Yeah. <laughs> Having you guys here just means the world to me. And a special two I want to give a big thank you to is Tammy and Kennedy. They're right over there. They're my special little nursing group. <laughs> we study for hours and hours, and I wouldn't want another group if it wasn't for them. And to all the staff here at COP and the professors and everyone, thank you all for supporting me and just lending a hand whenever you can. And lastly, to my 22nd Mr. Coppin State University. <laughs> <laughs> Trey and I shared a very special friendship from our sophomore year until now. Before our titles and everything, we ran together as Mr. and Miss Junior. And now, being Mr. and Miss Coppin, I wouldn't want to have this moment with anybody else if it wasn't for Trey. Hold on. <laughs> you make this experience so memorable and so enjoyable, and you pick me up whenever th things go wrong, and you're like, you know gonna be okay just shake it off and just continue being yourself I feel like God has sent me a forever friendship and I also consider you one of my best friends <laughs> thank you for being an amazing king to me and to our court you truly mean so much to me thank you <laughs>
I think I could do it better. Come on, Trey, talk to me, talk to me. Can we get another egg copy? Yeah. time to enjoy the moment and celebrate with each other. Congratulations to you all, and I wish you a most successful reign. At this time, we welcome to the stage Alana Younger for a performance.
She sang that. She sang the house down, didn't she? Didn't she? We clap it up for her one more time. I mean, are y'all still in y'all seats? Cause I mean, I'm over here rocking in my seat. She did so well. Let's give it up for Alana one more time. What a voice, what a voice. That was absolutely amazing. At this time, we will hear from our Vice President of Enrollment, Management, and Student Affairs, Dr. Stephen Moore, followed by a few additional marks. Coming to the stage, Dr. Moore. Where, where is my script? Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. We gotta do it again. Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. All right, I am delighted to serve as your Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Affairs at the great Coppin State University. Can we say it again? The great Coppin State University. I just have a few words to our roll court because I'm standing between you all in a reception that I hear, so I don't want to stand too long. Congratulations. You all are officially a part of the Coppin State royalty family, and I'm excited to stand before you. For every ending, there is a new beginning. For every memory, there is a dream yet to be created. And for every dream, there's a smile yet found. Education and leadership are the license to your future. The knowledge you have gained while at Coppin will never be erased, but can forever be enhanced. Continue to open your eyes to endless possibilities. And over the next year, or few years while you're completing your journey, know just as you're pouring into Coppin, Coppin is pouring into you, and we appreciate you. Tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. We, Coppin, the great Coppin, is proud that you each chose our HBCU to showcase your talent your leadership, 
your wisdom, but most importantly, your investment to us as an institution. We will forever remain grateful to those that are on the stage, our students that are in the audience, our faculty, our staff, our families, and our community and friends for all that you do to support our wonderful institution. I would be remiss if I also did not thank our assistant dean, Missy Sand, for your hard work and your leadership as well as your teams. I also have to recognize our Student Government Association that continues to pour into all of our clubs and organizations on campus through leadership, through financial stewardship, but most importantly, governance. Again, I'm Dr. Moore, but most importantly, I'm your Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Affairs at the great Coppin State University. Thank you all for coming out tonight, and I appreciate you. Coming to the stage next, we have our SGA president, Justin Evans. How's everyone doing tonight? How's everyone doing tonight? All right, there we go, that sounds better, that sounds better. God is great, of course, of course. My name is Justin Evans, and I serve as your two-time Student Government Association President of the great Coppin State University. As I stood here a year ago and gave the greetings for our former Mr. and Miss Coppin State University, I've had the pleasure of watching Kayleen and Trey grow into the amazing student leaders they are today into our 22nd and 91st Mr. and Miss Coppin State University. Realize you are a part of history. I congratulate you both on your continuing hard work. Coppin is most certainly in great hands. Don't wait until you've moved on from a space to realize how good of a situation you were in. Seize the moment. Lift your eyes upon the day, this day breaking for you and give birth again to the dream the late Miss Angelo. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. Eagles, so take control now. Good night, God bless, and go Eagles. And at this time, we welcome a member of our royal court, Miss Sophomore, Jayla McCullough. Greetings and humble salutations, staff, family, friends, and visiting royalty. My name is Jayla McCullough, and I am a sophomore early childhood education major with aspirations to be an educator. And I finally have the pleasure of serving as Miss Sophomore. The time is finally here. We finally get to crown our lovely Mr. and Miss Coppin. I remember meeting Trey Kwan the spring semester of my freshman year at our building meeting. He came in already laughing and playing and walked with walked through with such a bright and ecstatic persona. At that moment, I did not see us having a bond that we do today. You have become someone that I can confide in, the voice of reason to correct my actions when needed, someone who can make me laugh when I am down. You have become something like a brother to me and to my king, Trey Corn Hayes. I am so grateful for your friendship and this laughs and so much more. And now to the woman who does it all. With so much grace and class, you are the perfect example of a Coppin woman. To my queen, Kayleen Perez, you are so hardworking, kind, and talented. Between being a nursing student, a member of Kaya 805 Nursing Sorority, a writer for the Coppin newspaper, and so much more, you still manage to be an aspiring role model for not only myself, but your entire student body. You do so much for this community, and I'm so grateful for your kindness, your willingness and passion to help others. I hope that others are influenced by your kind heart and your selflessness. 
You deserve this title, and I know you will wear it well. To the court as a whole, thank you for supporting me through this journey and for assisting me in becoming a better friend and woman. I wish us all the best of luck during our reigns, and I can't wait to see what this school year holds for us. I love you all, and thank you so much to everybody who came out to celebrate this special day with us. Thank you all for your kind words. This has truly been a wonderful evening. Don't y'all agree? Yeah. I said, don't y'all agree? Yeah. Look how beautiful they look. Clap it up for them one more time. Yes, it has. This has been a wonderful celebration to help us camaraderie 122 years of Coppin's legacy of leadership and excellence in 92 years of celebrating our royalty. I guess our reign is officially over. No, yeah, it is. I'm, ex I'm excited to see what the 2022, 2023 Royal Court, Court does though. Thank you all so much for sharing this evening with us. Please stand and remain in place as we conclude with our alma mater. Following the alma mater, we have a small reception in Tar's Ballroom. You will be able to take photos there with the new Royal Court. And thank you again. Please join us in singing our alma mater. Please join us at the reception. This is the conclusion of the 2022-2023 coronation of Mr. and Ms. Coppin State University. To our guests to Coppin State University, the Tall's Ballroom is as you exit, go across the quad to your left. As you exit this building, Go up the steps and to the, cross the quad to your left. Second floor, Todd's Ballroom. <laughs>